Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the second It's My Ray Ray Times BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette and I have the palette right here. So if you want to see a look with this palette and hear my thoughts on this palette then just keep watching. Never have I needed to do my nails more than now but don't mind that. So these are the shades from left to right, top to bottom. The first one is Shining. This one is Top Notch, Brick, Bark, Cacao, Golden Girl, Scarlet, Charmed, Sapphire, Showgirl, Canary, Flare, Majesty, Cobalt, and Ambitious. So these are the shades. Swatched. Okay, so I think I want to take Flare, this burgundy looking shade right here. And I think I'm going to start to put that in my crease. I'm actually going to use one of my BH brushes. This came from one of their festival sets. I don't know the specific title, but they just have the pink holders. So, and this is the number six from that set. I'm gonna take that shade and, oh. The pigment! Oh my gosh, okay. Um, so very light-handed with this. Definitely this shade is so pigmented like crazy i barely even tap into the pan i promise it's just like one light tap so that's good a very good first impression so i'm just gonna blend this out and so far it's blending really well pretty color really pretty color and this palette has a mirror so score that's an automatic point for this palette that is always a plus so i have that shade blended out so far beautiful color love it so far it was easy to blend like i said so now I'm going to take the shade Ambitious, this deep green right here. I'm going to start to put that on my outer corner. Whoa, okay. I'm going to start to put that on my outer corner and then I will go and blend it in. And this is just pigmented definitely be careful with how heavy-handed you are with this and I wasn't even heavy-handed I was light and this is the kind of pigment that comes up so just be careful I actually think this may be too much but we're gonna figure it out it's good for a palette to have this kind of pigment nonetheless it's not a problem we're just gonna go in and blend it out to blend it out i'm gonna use my morphe 441 and just still blending pretty well i feel like i'm losing some of that green but it may just be the colors that I'm working with. Um, sort of like turning into a different, a different shade. But again, I am mixing colors. So maybe I'll just go back and add some more of that green. Still really cute. But when you mix colors, they tend to change. So I think I'm just going to go in and pop some right there in the corner there and then i'll go and blend that out again 
just bring my green back because I love how it looks. I just needed to get it blended. Now with another brush from that BH set. This is 7. I'm going to take Sapphire. This really pretty shimmery blue. And I would love to apply it with my fingertips. But I kind of want to see how it works with this brush first. Just gonna place it right here. And it's really pretty. Ooh. Really pretty color. Applies amazing with the brush. A part of me wants to just go in and top it off with my fingertips but the way that the shimmer applies with a brush is pretty good because a lot of shimmers don't apply this well with a brush so I think that's important to note. I'm just putting some more of that blue it is gorgeous just beautiful. I kind of just want to take my finger and top it off, although this is amazing. I just love using my fingers, so. Yep, that does it. <laughs> I cannot stay away from using my fingers when applying shimmers. It just does something, I feel like. But if you don't like to use your fingers, really good with the brush. So I'm just going to go in on this other side. So far, I really think I like this palette. So now I think I'm going to go back and add some of that green because I feel like I lost a little bit of it. So I think I'm going to go in and there's just a little bit of fallout, but... That's okay. It's not that big of a deal to me. So I'm going to take that green again and I'm going to place it right above that blue to just get more of that color back that I feel like I lost. And we'll go in and blend. I'm going to take Golden Girl, this shimmery yellow right here, and I'm going to put that at the front of my lid. Again, I'm gonna try it with the brush to see how this shimmer applies. And it's pretty. You're gonna need a little bit more. Pretty. So again, shimmers apply well with a brush, but now I'm gonna take my fingertips. <laughs> And that just does it for me. Obviously, if you want to clean up the lines a little bit, you may want to go back in with the brush. Especially at the corners, it's kind of hard to get in there with the finger. So I just go back in and clean it up. So I'm going to go in and kind of blend those shimmers together. The kind of matte versions of the shimmers that I did, I'm going to take below this shimmer, this blue right here, and then the yellow matte shade. And apply that on my lower. Okay, that is some pigment for the lower lash line if I've ever seen it. It usually doesn't get that pigmented for my lower lash line, but... This did it. And a yellow, a bright yellow at that. So really good at the lower lash line. I'm just going to dust some of this off. Because I did get a little bit of fall out. Now I'm going to take cobalt for that edge. So I'm going to take my NYX Worth the Hype mascara and just pop that on these lashes 
I'm gonna pop on some Lily Lashes in So Extra Miami. So for the lips, lovely BH. They sent out the It's My Ray Ray Gloss for free with my purchase of this palette. And I believe this was from her previous collection, which I actually, I actually don't have. But it's cool that they sent me this free gloss. What shade is this? I'm not sure if it has a shade. It's just her um, signature gloss, I guess. So. Very pink. Oh, wait. Is this a gloss? It kind of feels like a liquid lipstick. More so than a gloss, but. It's really cute. Is this really a gloss? Yeah, it says lip gloss. I don't know. I guess I'm just more so used to like gloss that just jumps out at you like a popping juicy lip gloss is this a gloss but anyways it's still really cute it goes with my look which is great it kind of goes with my crease shade so i'm gonna go find some highlighter to put on and then i'll be right back okay guys this is the finished look i love how this turned out so pretty pretty colors blendable colors easy to work with i really liked it i really do like it um so should you go and get this palette i think you definitely should this is an affordable palette i think this palette is like less than 20 dollars on bh cosmetics it is i feel like it's very versatile i could see a lot of looks with this palette not just your striking bold looks but you can tone it down as well because you have these neutrals at the top and then you have your shades that pop obviously some really pretty shimmer shades so all in all i think this is a really nice palette and i would recommend it to you guys i love the packaging on this i didn't really touch on this but i love the bronzy golden sort of like reflective packaging for this palette obviously i love that it has a mirror always a plus so yes i would recommend this palette please be sure to try this out and let me know how you liked it so as always i really really hope you guys enjoyed this review i would love some love please be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel that's if you want to see more of me and i'll see you in my next video bye